According to Statista, more than 2 billion trips were taken worldwide using Uber in the first quarter of 2023. New tonight, we're taking a closer look at the drivers behind the wheel on those trips. Our investigative reporter Katie Legrone tells us about two cases where Uber drivers are accused of engaging in illegal activity. Chances are you've done it. Hail a ride by tapping your phone. But with all the convenience Uber has to offer people on the go. Latest developments. More breaking news to tell you about. An Uber driver. An Uber driver. We've also seen the stories when an Uber driver appears to go rogue. Kidnapping and false imprisonment. Shooting and killing. Raping and threatening to kill one of his passengers. Taking unsuspecting passengers down a dangerous, dark road. Incomprehensible, really, that something like this could even occur. These Floridians claim it happened to them. I've never felt so violated in my life. Now they're suing, blaming Uber for failing to properly screen its drivers, allowing criminals behind the wheel. I feel like I lost a piece of myself. This young woman who asked us to only identify her as Grace says she was raped by an Uber driver with a criminal past. I would never want anybody else to go through what I went through. <laughs> it was December 2021. Grace was with friends in Tampa celebrating her upcoming 21st birthday when she admits she got drunk, very drunk. It's hard for me to like talk about because I don't remember. According to her lawsuit, after getting separated from her friends, a good Samaritan noticed Grace's condition and called for an Uber. But instead of dropping her off at home, the lawsuit states, the Uber driver sexually assaulted her. In a sheriff's report, the driver, Anthony Olivares Rivera, admitted they had sexual intercourse in the back seat after Grace allegedly asked him if he, quote, wanted to have fun. When I found out that he said that, it made me feel horrible knowing that he did that to me and I didn't even remember and I didn't know. And while her accuser remains in jail after pleading not guilty to sexual battery charges in this case, the lawsuit cites records that raise serious questions over how and why Uber would ever allow Rivera to be a driver trusted alone with passengers. According to the lawsuit, his history includes serious run-ins with the law that date back more than 20 years, with a felony conviction for drug possession and a first-degree robbery in 2002. That's not all. Records show the man Uber approved to be a driver has a long list of driving violations, running a stop sign, speeding, careless driving. His driver's license suspended multiple times before the night he met Grace. Who in their right mind would hire someone with this type of history? Andrea Lewis is Grace's attorney. Uber goes out of its way to advise passengers and, and all of us, right, that, that they do have thorough background checks, driver's criminal history, driver's driving history, and any violations that they may have. Yet someone like this can be employed by Uber, and it's mind-boggling. On its website, Uber devotes multiple pages to what it describes as a its multi-step safety screening process, a way of flagging prospective drivers with problem pass. In a statement to us, a spokesperson added, its rigorous driver screening process includes working with background check providers and several identity safeguards. But failures in those background checks have already resulted in several Uber settlements around the country and more lawsuits, including what Damien Josephsberg hopes will become the latest class action lawsuit against Uber for what he describes as its failure to properly screen drivers. Josephsburg blames the ride-sharing giant and its outsourced screener after he says someone stole his identity to pass the company's background check. The South Florida businessman discovered he was a victim after finding a tax form in his name with the list employer, Uber. I had never contacted Uber to be a driver for them. I had no paperwork that was sent to me or any consent sent to me from Uber. But for my checking of my own tax transcripts, I wouldn't have even known even to this point that someone was driving under my identity from Uber. Josephsburg's lawsuit alleges that federal law required Uber to notify him before conducting a background check. He and his attorney say that never happened. We think it is systemic. We think it is a pattern of behavior and preliminary evidence that we've gathered to date would support that. So you suspect potentially thousands of victims? I do if not tens of thousands of victims. Uber isn't talking about either of these newly filed lawsuits, but on its website, the company has forms passengers can fill out if they believe they've been a victim of identity theft or another crime. In its statement, a spokesperson added, while we can't comment on pending litigation, 
Our work on safety never stops. But these Floridians say their proof that's not true and are still suffering with the consequences. To have a company claim to have vet you for driving a vehicle for them and this never having really occurred was really, it was shocking. Lives are in people's hands and they're hiring people that are doing crazy stuff. It's insane to me. Uber maintains any safety incident represents just a tiny fraction of all rides. As for background checks, a company spokesperson tells me in 2019 and 2020, the company rejected more than a half a million people who applied to be a driver. I'm Katie Legrone for Scripps News Florida.